Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be doing a little Sephora haul. Now, this haul is really because of one product, which we're gonna get into. Um, I saw this product, I saw it on somebody's video, I can't remember who, um, but I was very intrigued. And so, I started looking it up on Sephora and then I realized I had enough points to get one of the $100 rewards, which is shameful, but I did, so. <laughs> I cashed in my points for the $100 reward certificate. Uh, so basically, I ended up paying just a little bit for this stuff, and I was pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It's right here. And I picked this stuff up in store. There is one thing in here that I got online because I went in store the other day to get this separately before I got my reward. And they didn't have it because I think it's on sale, it's on clearance now. So I picked it up online. So we'll just go ahead and start with that so you guys will know what I'm talking about. So the item that I ordered online is this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Malice. And this is inspired, like so many other purchases, by Miss Kiko Beauty, or I think I pronounce it wrong all the time. Her name is Marguerite, but I believe it's pronounced Kiko Beauty. Correct me if I'm wrong, girl. <laughs> But she did a video talking about her favorite orange lipsticks and I love that video so much. You guys definitely need to check it out. But it reminded me that I used to love wearing orange lipstick and I haven't worn it in years. So one of the ones that she featured on there was this color and it's Malice. And I thought it looked gorgeous on her and our skin tones are uh, similar. I'm darker than her but we do have similar skin tones so I figured this would look good on me too. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. Pretty, pretty. And I wanna put it on so bad, but I really don't wanna go up to my, my kid's school wearing bright lipstick, so I'm not gonna put it on. But I think it's really, really nice shade of orange. And it's just like, to me, it's like a neutral orange. It's not too red tone, uh, but it's not peach tone either. So I really like it. I cannot wait to wear it. I really wanna put it on now. Oh well. So for the rest of the items, we're not going in any particular order. I'm just pulling literally out of the bag and what comes out comes out. So the next item that I pulled out is a moisturizer. And I actually finished my uh, daily moisturizer that I've been using. I was using the Clinique Dramatically Different Jelly, the clear one. And I've been using it for probably close to a year. I used it pretty much every single day since I got it. And I ran through it and it, it, it lasted a really long time because it's a big bottle like this. So this time I decided to try uh, this one which is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And this, this is supposed to be more oil controlling. And I wanted to try it because I feel like my skin has been getting oilier lately. Um, so we'll see how this works out. Marguerite also recommended this. <laughs> Uh, she did a skincare video and she was talking about, or not a skincare video, she did a review on a different moisturizer and she mentioned this one and I figured that I would try this one because it sounded like it would work well for me. So we shall see how it works out. I did, since I went in store, I did kind of play around with a bunch of different moisturizers on my hand. I wanted something really lightweight and I wanted something that wasn't gonna like feel like it was too much for the summer. It's really hot and humid here. So um, I did try it on my hand and I liked that it felt like it absorbed really quickly and it actually kind of made my skin feel um, like less tacky, if that makes sense. Like a lot of the moisturizers I tried, I felt like my skin felt tacky after using them. So I think this is gonna be good for me, but we shall see. The next item I have here is a lip balm, and this is the, the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, and this is in the pear scent. So they recently came out with these balms. Um, they're like the lip sleeping mask, but they're, they're in a squeezy tube form. So I got this for my car. I had a different lip gloss in my car that ran out, or you know, a different chapstick in my car that ran out, so I wanted to replace it. So I figured I'd go ahead and give this a try, and it smells really good. I smelled it in a store. It's just like a tropical scent. I guess it's supposed to smell like pear. I'm not, I don't really eat pear. <laughs> so I don't know how close it is to pear, but it does smell really sweet and tropical and great for summer. 
So the next item that I pulled out is actually another item from Laneige and this is the water sleeping mask and it's in the lavender. Um, so I think this has been out a long time. I'm not sure, I've never tried it. But I wanted a hydrating mask because I've been using a mask that I don't really wanna tell y'all about yet because I wanna share it in favorites. <laughs> but I've been using a mask every, like every week and I feel like after I do that mask, I want to put on like a hydrating mask. And I used to use the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud, but I don't, I ran out of that a while ago and I never repurchased it. So I kind of been keeping my eye out for a hydrating mask. And I saw this one and I felt the texture and I think it's gonna work well. But this is what the bottle looks like. They give you a good amount of products, 2.3 ounces. And I think this is only $25. So I like that the Laneige um, skincare is reasonably priced um i mean that's kind of close to even drugstore prices <laughs> so maybe a little bit higher than drugstore but not like horribly priced like a lot of the skincare in sephora so we shall see how this works um let me show oh it's sealed so i'm not going to show you but it's like a like a jelly water jelly texture if i can find a picture to insert of how it looks inside i will but i don't want to open it it also comes with this spatula and i smell this in the store and it smells like very calming because it's lavender scented. Now I was a little bit hesitant to get the lavender one because I'm like, okay, fragrance in my skincare, I don't know how that's gonna be. Um, but I decided to just go ahead and try it. <laughs> so the directions just say to apply this across the face and then leave it, up, leave it on overnight and rinse off in the morning. And so it sounds pretty much like what the Thirsty Mud was too. So I am looking forward to trying this out. Also, while, we, while we're talking about that, I was thinking about getting the Jet Lag. I think it's like a hydrating mask um, by Lazy Sunday or Sunday morning or something. I don't know. But I feel like it's been like all over social media, so I'm sure you probably have seen it. You guys let me know if you've tried that and if you've tried this. Let me know what you think of um, the two. Um, because it was really, I was really thinking about getting that in the mini size and trying it out, but then when I was in store, I saw this and was like, hmm. I think I'm gonna try this one instead. And then the last item is the whole reason for this haul. It is Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. Now this is my first Natasha Denona palette and I have been interested before. Her palettes always look so gorgeous. I just have not been able to drop $125 or $129 on a palette. And I've always heard that the miniature palettes that they had weren't that great. So, when I saw this one came out, I decided that I wanted to try it. Now this palette comes with 15 shades in it. Yeah, 15 shades. And it retails for $65. And apparently it's about half the amount of product as a normal Natasha Denona 15 pan palette. But for me, that's perfect because I'm not gonna go through a huge eyeshadow, especially in a palette. Like I have way too much makeup for that. So. <laughs> So I think um, this quantity change is perfect because even though it's not necessarily a better value um, based on the amount of product that you get, you still get a lot of product. So, and I did swatch some of the shades of this in store. So super excited to actually try it, but this is a Sunrise palette. This is the packaging. It's kind of like a metal, I think, and kind of has like a soft back, like the NARS packaging. But let me show you these beautiful colors. It comes with like a big mirror. Y'all can see that? Let me see if I can cover up the mirror though. And these shades are just everything. Like it's another warm tone palette, which honestly who needs any more? But let's see if I hold it up here. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. But I like the fact that these are like different shades than what I currently have. The closest thing that I have to this is the Sephora Pro Warm Palette. Um, but I feel like these shades are just more, more unique. So I'm very excited to try them. And I know, I don't know whose video I initially saw this on, but I did see Kelsey Brianna J here on YouTube um, review this palette or swatch this palette. And the shades show, these matte like yellow shades showed up beautifully on her. And so I cannot wait to try them out on myself. I did swatch them on myself in the store and they showed up well. And I like that because a lot of shades that are similar to this, 
like especially like this peachy shade those types of shades don't typically show up that great on me um just because they just end up looking chalky on brown skin tone so i was really happy that these are pigmented mattes those are what i swatched in the store i actually only swatched like one um one metallic in the store but the mattes were what i was mainly concerned with even though the metallics are obviously beautiful so yeah i'm sorry i'm not swatching this for you guys but <laughs> i just I'm, I'm sorry if you want to see swatches i'm sure you can find some here on youtube or somewhere else but i just don't feel like if i'm not gonna swatch a whole palette then kind of what's the point but it is gorgeous i cannot wait to play with this never mind the fact that i don't hardly ever wear eyeshadow <laughs> I keep buying these eyeshadow palettes and I don't wear eyeshadow. I mean, I wear eyeshadow, but I don't have time to wear it on a daily basis. But when I do have time, I do enjoy wearing it and playing in it. And it's like one of my favorite things to buy. So I figured since I was had, since I had my $100 reward, I'd spend it on this baby. And then the skincare, like the lotion, I was out. So that was a necessity. So I don't feel bad about that at all. So there we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I don't do Sephora hauls as often as I used to, but I do still enjoy shopping at Sephora and I do still enjoy my makeup. I just am not buying it as much as I used to, which was way too much. So <laughs> let me know if you guys own any things that I picked up and what you think about them. Share it in the comments below so we can have a conversation and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.